Welcome to Electron Line. Our next section in this group of videos is operations with rational expressions. And this is a, a group where most students have a particular difficulty with. And the best way to get through these types of problems is to have very specific techniques to solve them or to simplify them. Well, first of all, we have to understand what a rational expression is. And a rational expression is expressions in, in fraction format. So here you can see a binomial divided by a trinomial, a binomial divided by a binomial. These are what we call rational expressions, simply polynomials that are in fraction format. And here we have this divided by this. Now, the first thing you should always do is when we have a rational expression divided by another rational expression, that we turn that into multiplication by inverting that second rational expression. So instead of dividing by this, we're going to multiply by its inverse. So that's the first thing we always do. So change the division into multiplication. So this is now 8x cubed plus 125 divided by x to the fourth plus 5x squared plus 4 multiplied by the inverse of this, which is now 2x squared plus 8 divided by 2x plus 5. All right, always do that first. Get that done with. Now the next thing we want to do is see if we can factor any of this polynomial. So there's two binomials and one trinomial. So are they factorable? Well, let's find out. The first one is because this is the sum of two cubes. This can be written as, let me rewrite it, as 2x quantity cubed plus 5 quantity cubed. So this becomes the sum of cubes divided by, and notice here, this is x to the fourth plus 5x squared plus 4. This is looks a lot like x squared plus 5x plus 4, but instead of x squared, we have x to the fourth. Instead of x, we have x squared. So this can also be factored as follows. This can be written as x squared times x squared, because x squared times x squared gives you x to the fourth. Everything is positive, plus a plus and a plus. And here, I'm looking for two numbers. When I multiply, I get 4. When I add them, I get 5. The only option is 4 and 1. So plus 4 and plus 1, because 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 plus 1 is 5. And this is the factored form of this trinomial. Now we multiply this times. Here we can factor out a 2. This becomes 2 times x squared plus 4. And here, well, I can't factor out anything, so this can be written as 2x plus 5. One more thing we need to do is factor this numerator. Now we can clearly see that it's a sum of cubes. And if we remember right, what we'd have to do with the sum of cubes is that a cubed plus b cubed is equal to the quantity a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. So knowing that, we can apply that to the numerator here. And this can now be written as a plus b. Notice that in this case, a is 2x and b is 5. So that becomes 2x plus 5 times 2x squared. So that becomes 4x squared minus a times b. 5 times 2x, which is 10x, plus b squared, which is 25, divided by what we have here, which is x squared plus 4 times x squared plus 1, and then times 2 times x squared plus 4, divided by 2x plus 5. And now we can see that there's some things we can cancel out. We have a 2x plus 5 here. We have a 2x plus 5. Everything is multiplied. There's no addition or subtraction anywhere. So we can see that this can be canceled out with this. And we have an x squared plus 4 and an x squared plus 4. This can be canceled out with this. And it looks like that's about all we can simplify. So in the end, this becomes 2 times 4x squared minus 10x plus 25 all divided by 1 times 1. 1, well, we don't have to put anything in the denominator. Oh, yes, I forgot. It's an x squared plus 1. Can't forget, about, can't forget about that one. We still have 1 times this times this, which is x squared plus 1 in the denominator. And this is the final simplest form of this rational expression. And that's how it's done.